1893, when the occupation began in Hawaii, we didn't, it wasn't a rebellion of Hawaiian citizens. It was occupation of the U.S. military forces that came in 1893, which continue to occupy land to this day. That's the history. Our lands are being scooped up by the military. Good. Okay. As an expansion of their military. And we don't want that anymore. Tourism, militarism, those are material forces. And they change the way people who are native endure or don't endure. All my life, they wanted me to fear them. I'm not doing it no more for who I am and for who my ancestors are. What is a true Hawaiian? What is a true Hawaiian? It's the Hawaiian, the true Hawaiian. The only way I know how to live is Hawaiian. No matter where I go, I'll always be Hawaiian. Try to understand, keep Hawaiian lands in Hawaiian hands. When Hawaiian lands are being bought by the other man. You are in his favor. Enjoy your free job in Paris. Enjoy your you free are job in Paris. Paris. The Walmart. It was brought to you by our 44 ancestors whose graves were desecrated. But if you look at history, we're just another sequel. The Akaka Bill is a land grab in the disguise of granting Hawaiians the rights of American Indians. Unity will not be given to us. Unity will be taken by us. When we saw Hawaii, yeah, they took that too. They saw the hula and they called it paganistic, but they didn't think twice when they was raping the Pacific. And another thing that might be quite scary, would they even give a damn if Hawaii wasn't so important to the military?